Ninjago is an awesome show, and the sets make it a million times better. There's literally so many awesome sets, from big cars to motorcycles. So many motorcycles. But the Ninjago City sets are definitely the best ones they've made. There's Ninjago City, Ninjago City Docks, Ninjago City Gardens, and now Ninjago City Markets. But all of which are expensive enough to pay for my college tuition. But who really cares about an education or this thing called a budget? I don't even think that's a real word. But since LEGO is way better than any old history lesson, I decided to blow over $400 on the biggest Ninjago set, and that definitely makes me better than you. But is this set really worth $400, or should you save your money to further your education? Let's find out. It's here. This thing is massive. It's like 10, 15 pounds. I'm gonna open this bad boy up. I'm armed. Let's get this bad boy open. Oh, yes. Guys, this is literally the prettiest thing that I have seen all day. I mean, just look at it. It's 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 awesome. Look at all the minifigs you get. Lloyd, Nia, Detective Zane, Kai, Aaron, other people. They're awesome. This set is amazing. Okay, you 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 you, you even get a, a track with Hot Dog McBrag. This set could literally not be any better. 6100 pieces. Like what? Let's try to get this guy out. Oh, oh my. Guys, it's Beautiful. Guys, I found a, a little bit of bad news. Boat does not float. It's way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. When I finished building this thing up, I was in literal shock. So was my neck. The build time for this set was around 14 to 15 hours, which is longer than it takes me to write my own Shakespeare play. I've never written a play. I've never even been to a play. That's not true. But it wasn't Shakespeare. But that's all topic. This set has some awesome details, most of which include three sticker sheets. The set is also split up into three instruction books and 51 bags. But the tails, not including stickers, go from a super detailed bridge, which used some interesting pieces to get the detail, to an actual working trolley that can hold up to three minifigures. They weren't lying about that boat not floating. I mean, I guess it does kind of float, but that's what we classify as floating, then I can fly. No, seriously, I actually can. And well, that's not including all the awesome details like Kai's blacksmith shop and Aaron and Sora's room, which are so small, they remind me of my old self. I mean, old room. I'm sure most of you know that they added new ninja to the ninja team. Aaron and Sora are some pretty cool characters, and they have some pretty nice minifigures. When I first heard that there was going to be new ninja on the team, I didn't really like the idea, but the way they incorporated it into the show made it really nice, and I actually like it. Besides the fact that LEGO is blind, they're more confused than me when I'm trying to do algebra. Because this is the wrong hairpiece. Ugh. Speaking of minifigures, I love them. But not as much as I'd love to prove that LEGO is way better than cheez -It. I'm in a race to beat... No, that's the wrong word. I'm in a race to destroy cheez -It and subscribers. Because let's be very frank, cheez -Its are good, but they last a week top. LEGO is non-degradable, which means it won't just disappear. Help me prove that LEGO is better to subscribe. This video was very expensive. Anyway, this massive set comes with 21 minifigures, some of which include Cyrus Ford, Gale Gossip, Vinny Folson, Misdemeanor, and much, much more. The range of minifigures in this set is amazing, the kind of minifigures I'd expect from a $400 Lego. So let's take a good look at this plastic interchangeable creature, but not too close. All of the minifigures in this set include Lloyd, Nia, Detective Zane, Blacksmith Kai, Urban Aaron, who be looking awesome, Urban Sora, Misdemeanor, Hondog McBrag, who still appears to be after the ninja, Camille, the last elemental master Ninjago fans needed, Dareth. I finally have Dareth, he's awesome, his, his, and his hair, it's, it's Beautiful. The set also includes Cyrus 4, which is a very highly sought after minifigure. You also get Racer 7, Vinny Folson, and 7 random citizens, such as a sushi chef, baker, boat vendor that has a freaking hearing aid, a street vendor, org employee, a tea vendor, which I believe is referencing Steve Wisdom. You know, the one that Ronan stole? <laughs> what a chat. And finally, a ninja child. Sadly, you don't get a J or Cole minifigure, but we do get a microscale toy version of them, which is okay, I guess. But let's be completely honest. Cyrus Borg is definitely the best minifigure in the set, by a landslide. He's a minifig Ninjago fans have wanted since about 2015. It was eight freaking years until we got him, and sure, we got a bad version of him back in season three, but that's not the same. At least we finally have a normal minifig of him, and a really nice one to get. I actually have the two biggest Ninjago sets. And having both of them, I'd have to say the minifigures in this set is way better than that of Gardens. Not that Gardens is bad, I just have to say that this one is much better. Although I wasn't really expecting one, but it doesn't come with the poster like Gardens did, which makes perfect sense because it's not part of the 10 year anniversary line, but still disappointing. The set itself is awesome. There are so many clever building techniques. One of the clever building techniques in this set is these pieces holding up the lamp over the bakery. Another one is the circular plates holding the bridge at the angle that it is. And since the bridge is kind of the centerpiece of this set, I feel like it needed to be at an angle that normal Lego couldn't get it at. Geometry really sucks, am I right? Yes. 
Yes, I am. But I have to say one of the most useful details is the ability for three of the building interiors to be able to slide out. It makes it so much easier for people to get inside, which is really nice, especially for people who are ripped, such as myself. One of my favorite details, absolutely my favorite detail about the set, is the working toilet, which surprisingly use some very complex building techniques, but it's so fun to use. Oh, Lego. I'd have to say the working trolley is a really nice build and idea. The cart itself has some nice curves, too. The one complaint I'd have to have is it's kind of hard to move because you can only do it at such a small space at a time, but still a big fan of it. Another awesome building we get is Jared's Karaoke Club, something that's been in Ninjago since 2018 and a nice thing to get after five years. The inside of Jared's Karaoke Club is actually really crazy, from an actual karaoke platform to a super cool and complicated pool table. How can pool be complicated? Building this was a really fun experience. It has so many details that you wouldn't normally think about building. So this set is built upon two 32 by 32 base plates, which means it's 64 studs long, which means it's massive. The only problem with that is I can only fit it on this top shelf. It does hang off a little bit, but that doesn't really bother me. I guess I could put it on my desk, but the only problem with that is I'd have to take these shelves down. And one, I don't know where else I'd put them. Two, there'd be nail holes in the wall from each one. And three, that sounds like work. I'll save work for the children. Guys, make sure you subscribe. This video is very expensive. I've made some poor life decisions. So guys, this is what they look like together, and it is massive. I mean, it, it, it just looks awesome. Look, it's not super smooth. There's like a flat wall, but other than that, it looks awesome. Like, it's not a horrible gap, so it still looks good. Now, from being honest, this set is a massive W. 10 out of 10. One of the best Ninjago sets they've ever made, but I wouldn't say it's the best one. Like I already said, this set comes with an awesome variety of minifigures, a fun build, a million stickers, and a huge box. But in my opinion, Gardens is just better. The main reason I think Gardens is better is just because it goes better by itself whereas market sides are basically empty, which leaves kind of a blank wall. Now, I know some of you guys are going to be like, it's supposed to go in between two of the big ones. It, it doesn't matter. No, you're wrong. It doesn't. It should look good by itself. But overall, I'd have to say it's my second favorite Lego set. Guys, I was just trying to get this shop and I destroyed it.